Okay, so, the last thing that I say for the day is actually going to be the first part of the video. It is uh, 9 o'clock at night. Um, I already filmed everything for today, but this is going to be the first part of the video. And that is to start off the 100 day challenge. That's right, today is the first day of my 100 day challenge. So, I already took the before pictures, they're already set. Um, maybe I'll post them at the end of the video. Um, that way I can prove that I did take them today. Um, and then I'll use them again at the end of the 100 day challenge. Anyway, um, here is the bullet points for my 100 day challenge that I'm going to follow and hopefully you guys will join in and follow as well. So, here we go. Well, yeah, I got them right here, but I'll just show an up close version. Okay, here we go. So, the 100 day challenge. Number one, do something. Do some type of exercise every day. Something more than you usually do. For example, if you walk to work, that doesn't count as the day's exercise. You've got to do something extra that you no don't normally do. So, for example, if you actually go to the gym and walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes, um, and that's what you regularly do, that doesn't actually count. I mean, still do it. Don't, don't not do it. Don't change what you already do if it's something good already. Um, like, I mean, if you sit down all day, then, you know, change that if you, if you can. But, like, if you sit down all day, like me, for example, do something that you, more than what I, you, I, you normally do. So, for example, for me, anything would be more than what I normally do. So, I'm gonna aim for at least 50 sit-ups a day. I'm gonna try for more, like, treadmill again and stuff but if I if all I do is the sit-ups that's still more than what I've done before so on really tired days when I just don't feel like it I'm still gonna do the sit-ups but days where I I really wanna like you do as much as I can I'll do like the treadmill and stuff as well and the weights and and stuff so that's just a, a good example to follow now, number two, I was going to say drink eight cups of water, which is equal to four bottles of water, at least four 16-ounce bottles of water. But after um, seeing, like, different uh, te uh, what is it called? Tests? No. <sighs> studies. Uh, certain studies say that... Uh, for some people, drinking eight cups is act could actually overhydrate you, because it is possible to be overhydrated, and you wind up having pretty much the same symptoms as dehydration, except it's it's harder to. Anyway, basically, instead I said drink enough water. So hopefully you know. Um, I mean, you could still aim for like six to eight cups of water in general that's probably a good idea but uh, I said drink enough water so basically what the what the studies have said is that follow your body pretty much if you're thirsty drink water don't drink soda don't you know drink water if you're thirsty and keep drinking water until you're no longer thirsty unless of course you're over thirsty you know sometimes like no matter how much you're drinking you're still thirsty once that part goes away and you're just normal thirsty then drink water until you're not thirsty anymore and you know drink water throughout the day not like a whole bunch all at once because you forgot to drink water for the day so you drink it drink a, a bunch of water two hours before you go to bed don't do that um, anyway and I also heard that it's a good idea to drink one to two cup, cups of water um, when, when you wake up because it helps wake you up and one cup of water before you go to bed. That might, the, the second part might not be a good idea for, for some of you who 
uh, would be prone to getting up in the middle of night, the night multiple times to use the bathroom. But the first part about drinking drinking water as soon as you wake up, that's probably a good idea. That probably would help you. Uh, next one is taking a multivitamin every day. And why is it yellow? Why is it all yellow? It's not yellow. The paper's not yellow. Why is it doing that? Uh, next, in bed before midnight. This word um, can be changed to fit your schedule in case you know midnight is too late for you or or you know your schedule is completely whatever um, make sure that it's a good time don't do what I've been doing and go to bed at like two o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the morning go to set a good a good thing for this challenge I say before midnight um, for most people it's it's pretty much everybody it's a good idea to go to bed before midnight if you can help it so I I'm adding that to my to my hundred day challenge so you probably should too and next and last that I could think of for now one serving or less of sugar or other junk foods um, the reason why I said it like this um, is like in case I do want a cheat day then I'll have one serving so one serving for example for peeps if I wanted peeps um, one serving is five peeps okay but at the same time one serving could also be uh, only one uh, chocolate thing about this big so, you know, whatever you want to use as your serving, whatever the serving is, that's all you get. At least for me. But it's probably a good idea for you guys to make it yours too. And I said, attempt to have most days at zero servings. Which is what I'm going to try to do because I'm so addicted to always having it every day I'm gonna to try to just completely cut it out for right now and just see how much I how much weight I drop so uh, yeah anyway I guess I will cut to what I filmed for today uh, but yeah that's the hundred day challenge today's day one I did pretty good today um, I've had no sugar no no junk food nothing like that that includes the pizza too because the pizza is really bad so uh or any other you know bad uh foods that you might have for dinner or lunch or whatever um so yeah i'll cut to the rest of the 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 video um from what i filmed today and yeah i already I already said see it because that was the video from before this one. It's kind of weird to not say see ya when this is the last video that I film. But I can't say see it because this is actually the first part of the video. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, join me in this 100 day challenge. Um, yeah, just just do it for yourself. Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself first. You could do it for me too, but I'm just saying do it for yourself. If you're not doing it for yourself, that doesn't really help anything. Do it for yourself. Make this is a a, a health thing. It's for your health. For you to look better, for you to be healthier. Um If you want to look better, you want to you want to Drop a couple sizes, maybe, if you if you really want to go at it. I, I'm not guaranteeing that you're going to drop several sizes in just 100 days. But you're definitely going to drop something if you really, if you really um, take this seriously. Which I really am. I, I'm going to take this 100-day challenge seriously. I'm going to make sure that I get every single one of these if I can help it. Uh... I'm I'm kind of, the the main thing that I'm I'm worried about is the bedtime before midnight because sometimes I don't notice the time, but I'm going to 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 make it to make it a thing where where I'm gonna I'm gonna really check the clock and really make sure everything's done 
and I'm in bed before midnight, so on to the rest of the video, and you will see my my weight, because I weighed myself this morning before breakfast, uh, so you'll know that my start starting weight, and I'll show you guys the before pictures that I took um, earlier today and at the end of the video, and yeah, so hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you join me in this 100 day challenge. Look at this kitty. Look what Tasha's doing. <laughs> she rarely does this. But at least I can finally show you guys how she rips her hair off and she's completely bald on her stomach. That's what her hair used to look like everywhere. But that's really all there is left. Look at the rest. Look at that. It's completely bald. <laughs> what are you doing later? <laughs> this is so funny. How are you doing, Tasha? Hey. How are you doing? <laughs> that is so funny. She is so cute. Must feel good. <laughs> that must feel really good to her. I guess I'll leave her alone. One eighty five point two. Okay. Uh, it's recording, yes. Okay, so today is day one of the 100 day challenge, um, and I thought that this would be a good idea to offer a tip that I came up with on my own, um, since we're at the doctor's again, which we have to come every month for mom. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that are normally like me, now I go in, but um, if you like to wait out in the car when somebody goes in for an appointment or whatever, or you know, like you go in the waiting room, wait till they get called in, then you go back to the car or whatever, right? I wanna wait in the car today too. Okay. <laughs> um, Sorry. My tip is if you wanna get a little bit of exercise in, you take, the, the seat, you know, to roll the seat down like this, as far down as it will go. An 85 degree. Okay, that's, that's about good, I Maybe. guess. As flat as you can get it, and then you can just do your sit ups in the car. Hey! I'm doing that later! <laughs> and the, Waste some gas with the air conditioner on. <laughs> just a well, good. Well, in Florida, yeah, you'd probably have right. to have the air conditioner. That's a good on. idea. It's softer. But, yeah, this is. A, yeah, I was gonna say, for most oh, cars, this would be a good idea 
um, to do in the car as well because it doesn't hurt your back. That's like smart. when you go. <laughs> I came up with that on my own. When you're like on the floor or something, and you do sit up. Sometimes it really hurts your back, but here, I oh. it really doesn't hurt at all. And what's good about this car, your, I don't. In your stomach. Well, I do sit ups different than um, you know. I, I do it fast. Feel yeah, I don't. I don't tighten my stomach the way oh, you're supposed that's to. Naughty. But uh, who knows? I'll, I'll perfect it one day. But uh, what's nice is like this area, this bump right here, is right on your lower back right in the spot that normally hurts the most when you're when you're on uh, oh my goodness, you're a when you're on the floor so this part actually offers your lower back a lot of support so that's and, and I'm not sure if that has to do with how tall you are though because I don't know but yeah I thought that this was a pretty good idea what do you think I like it a lot that yeah? is such a good idea I came up with it with it yesterday Very for coming tiny. today. Good idea. How did you really think <laughs> yeah. about it? I just came up with well, it. Well, I'm going to stay in here and I'm going to do those <laughs> <laughs> going in. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I'm raising the seat back up. Let's go have some fun and, and find out what they say about me next. <laughs> And careful about uh, some seats uh, will, when you have it all the way down and then you have it come back up, sometimes it'll try to eat your shirt if it's hanging. <laughs> and your shirt will wind up being inside of the seat and you gotta re lower. I don't know, I got hungry. Uh, yeah. Everything gets hungry, I guess, too. Okay, so I thought that was a pretty good tip to share since it's day one. Some people that is. might Every want to. Every day I don't go uh, anywhere, I'm going to go in the car and do them. <laughs> <laughs> some people might want to, uh, you know, get some tips. And if, hopefully you guys are joining me in the 100 day challenge and it's not just watching. Because you want to do it. benefit yourself, help yourself, you know. There's, it's one thing to watch other people it's benefit from something. Way, yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> like sometimes you see people. Like, wow, look at that one go! Oh, I'm tired. Okay, that was a good <laughs> Sometimes workout. you see people. Uh, some I I see some people uh, where they watch healthy food videos, and then in the comments they're like, "I'm watching this healthy food video while I'm eating potato chips or something," you know, like. Or, or you know, you're watching somebody how to make a really healthy kale salad, and then somebody's like, and I'm eating my cookies right now. Thomas, you had it. Oh, it's just You want to get it? Okay, see you guys. Okay. So now we're out of the doctor. Oh, look at me. Right? Oh, uh, see. They're watching you do your hair. <laughs> um, so it seems that there's at least one other member that needs to do the 100 day challenge too. It's not just for that. My bones are bad in the back. Yeah, I know. She even sucks. No, I mean the, the cholesterol. Um, mainly... It's not our fault. Yeah, it's mainly due to the pizza that we have a lot. If I sat there and because I don't eat the cookies and all that stuff. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't eat the eat like have the sugar uh, thing addiction that I do. Um, mainly it's the pizza because what my stepdad does to save money is he just brings the leftover pizza from the pizza place for us to have for lunch and stuff, and sometimes even dinner. And no matter how many times I tell him and I'm not supposed to have it, he still brings it. So. Yeah, so, uh, cholesterol, the LDL is high, the, the triglycerides past, is high. For the past 10 for the years. Past, yeah, for the past, 
yeah, because we've been eating the pizza like that for like eight years. Yeah, but your dad never got me good food either. Yeah, I mean, before, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so. <sighs> we'll see what happens. Look at the dark clouds. Actually, the camera's making it look normal. Cortez Boulevard, which is in multiple different towns at the same time. Yeah, they don't change the name of this road. It's just Cortez Boulevard everywhere. <laughs> 50 miles and you're still on a Cortez Boulevard somewhere. A after turning different places and it's Cortez. Yeah. That's, that's the thing that confuses me because in interstate, yeah. An interstate makes sense because it's still the same interstate. You know, you're just following it. You turn off an exit. Here, you are, you're turning on a different road. That road's named something else. Turning on a different road. Then you turn back and you're on Cortez again. Even though it's a different road that's not connected to the first Cortez. And then you look up a place in a different town. And that one also says Cortez. I don't know. I'm so confused. Somebody forgot how to name the roads. All of it is named the same. Cortez Boulevard. But yeah, it's in different places. I'm so confused. Hands on the wheel time. Look at the rain cloud. That's from there to there. No rain pouring like hell. Holy crap. And now good. Now, look. You had to go to... That came out of nowhere. That's the first time I ever seen a thing of rain like that all of a sudden. I told you, it's gonna rain now all night. How the heck are we gonna get in the house without getting soaked? I don't know. It's time to do some sit-ups. Uh, I'm probably going to do 50, because that's what I normally did before. So, I'll do 50. My bed squeak, squeaks like crazy, because the one part is broken. But I'm, I'm not, 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 not going to record all 50, I'm just going to record a couple, and then do the rest. Um... And I do this before eating because you don't want anything in your stomach um, when you do sit-ups. So, yeah. So anyway, one, two, three. And that's with my legs um, half up. Four. Wait, now I'm on six. Seven. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, eight, nine, so, you know, I think I'm going to end it here, uh, maybe, well, you know what, I did go to Target, um, uh, yes, I am counting in my head, 19 now. Um, I did go to Target and to look for 
the Spider-Man that I was trying to find. Um, and I found another one. I'm at 25 now. I take my I take 30 seconds break before I do the other 25. So uh, I do. I did find one more in the series. It's not the exact one that I wanted because I wanted Spider-Man 2099, but it is a regular Spider-Man. See if I can do it without the glare. I can't do it without the glare, but yeah, it's a regular Spider-Man this time. So third Spider-Man in my Spider in my brand new Spider-Man collection. Um, two of which are from that series, uh, and one of which was from two th the year two thousand at a yard sale or thrift shop, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna do the other twenty-five and eat. So. Anyway, um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.